We have seen the woke freaks online up in arms trying to cancel J.K. Rowling ever since she said something that aligns with virtually 99% of other people. That people can live their life however they want, but there's a biological difference between men and women. At the end of the day, that's really all she said. Every other thing she believes in is progressive, is woke. But that is not enough. You have to align completely with the woke mob or they'll come after you. But the problem for a lot of these people is that they still love Harry Potter. They love the thing that she created and they can't handle the fact that she has this one opinion. And now it's to the point where they are willing to pay hundreds of dollars for these books as long as they can pretend J.K. Rowling had nothing to do with it. Woke bookseller strips J.K. Rowling's name from used Harry Potter copies. A 23-year-old bookseller in Toronto, Canada, not a surprise, has been repackaging used Harry Potter books with his own custom covers that exclude author J.K. Rowling's name to appease the LGBTQ fascists. Artist Laura Flom, what a fucking name is that? It must be a French or Canadian thing. Laura Flom, uh, reportedly started the project to, quote, help Harry Potter fans who might have a problem with supporting Rowling's work due to her ad advocacy against transgender radicalism. He has now completed at least 30 rebound books that he offers for sale. The project is spurred by her transphobia. I was a fan. Growing up when I did, it was a given that you would read Harry Potter. Flom said that Rowling's views on people like me left a bad taste. Is he a trans person? Uh, it raised questions about the ethics of consuming her work. Adding that the purpose of this project is to create a safe space for fans to find comfort in the books and critically engage with J.K. Rowling's work. Flom buys secondhand copies of the book and removes the covers along with the copyright pages bearing Rowling's name, replacing them with covers of his own design. Each book takes 12 hours for him to rebind, not including the time it takes for him to package the books and send them off. Flom reportedly sells each newly bound book for $170. So get, let me get this straight. These activists, these losers, these freaks, these degenerates, they are willing to pay $170 for the story from someone that they believe is a transphobe. But just because it doesn't have her name on it, that makes it okay to them. What a bunch of freaks. What a bunch of lunatics. That's how these people's minds work. It is so pathetic. Flom said he mostly he receives mostly positive reactions, but he hopes his work will highlight Rowling's transphobia. Yeah, nobody knows anything about J.K. Rowling and her views on trans people. You know what we should really highlight is the fact that J.K. Rowling is not transphobic. That's what we should actually highlight. Maybe we should just share every single person who says she's transphobic. Share this tweet with them. J.K. Rowling from 2020. I respect every trans person's right to live in any way that feels authentic and comfortable to them. I'd march with you if you're being discriminated against on the basis of being trans. Listen to that statement. She supports trans people. What she doesn't believe in is the fact that biology is a myth, that there's no such thing. There's no difference between men and women. That's what she's saying. At the same time, my life has been shaped by being female. I don't believe it's hateful to say so. The, the fact that they continue to call her transphobic because she says there are biological differences between men and women, it's about as clown world as it can get. I guess one step beyond clown world would be paying $200 for an $8 book written by someone who you think despises you and that you despise and want them canceled, but because their name has been removed from it, it makes it okay for you. These people are lunatics. That is the understatement of the century but it's just reality.